What's up everyone, Kinetic here. To, or a few days ago, Ravenfield got a massive update where it, they added some new stuff. Now, this new stuff is actually super duper cool. And it's that. The Raptor. Now, if you remember, a few... I'm going to need you to leave that for a second. This is the brand new assault helicopter. This It's the Raptor. So, it's got some cool stuff. So, as you can see, in my um, weapons... Oh, shoot, it's got slammed. Okay, in our weapons, we've got uh, 24 missiles instead of, I think it used to be 16. We're going faster. Which is awesome. Oh, shoot, we're getting slammed from the back. Okay, well, I'm probably going to die. Huh. This is the new official, like, this is the official new helicopter for Ravenfield. Which is, is very cool. I should have probably removed weapons like the, uh, um, uh-oh. I probably should have removed weapons like the... Like, uh, anti-air handheld missiles, but I didn't think of it. Um, so, so there, oh, good. Don't you dare. They also recently changed the model textures for the plane, the buzzard, or the wyvern. Is I think what it's called? Isn't it called the wyvern? I'm just having to shoot all these guys because they're trying to take my helicopter. Or I guess it's their helicopter, but it's mine now. I don't know what that one's called. Reload, quickly. Are you just going for that thing? He's going for my helicopter. He's got a rifle, he's got a rifle. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Why are there so many people? One of the new features of this helicopter is that when you're closer to the ground, you move faster. It's kind of like if, if you were in a real helicopter, you would move closer to the ground because it's able to push, push off the ground more. It's got the 24 missiles and it's incredibly maneuverable. Except when it's at the bottom of the lake. I'm going to try to stay over here just so I can finish the review part and then we can see it in action. <laughs> because there's some cool features. If you click E now, you auto hover. So you won't... I think you'll go up to a certain altitude maybe. Yeah, and you'll just... You won't have to... I mean, my hands are off the keyboard right now. And I'm just floating. And this is perfect for the new laser guided rocket system which if you're outside this little circle doesn't work but if you're inside the circle wherever I aim the missile will go like that <laughs> okay, well that hurt. Ah! The auto hover is basically for the sole purpose of using the laser guided rockets. It also kind of looks like they re he reworked the little bottom cannon a little bit. I'd love to get out and try that, so I'm gonna have you exit. Okay, so this is the machine gun on the bottom. There's only one weapon on the bottom, so... That's awesome, though. Because if you're trying to aim it like this, you can do it. Hold on. out of range. 
much. Uh, okay. So, yes, in addition to the... Oh, we overshot it. In addition to the new... The new weapons... Oop. There is also the additional, the, the auto hover feature. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's lots of new stuff. And I'm having trouble remembering all of it. So there's the, there's the auto hover feature, the physics boost, so when you're no close to the ground, you boost faster. Uh, I don't, oh, there is that. So there's the water trail kind of thing if you're really close to the water. I feel like it's more maneuverable, a little bit, fa a little bit faster. So that is basically the new helicopter. Citadel has finally been taken out of work in progress mode. It is official map. This is the um, this is the new base. It's got a runway right here. Um which launches planes. So now this team has planes. It's got this command structure kind of thing, which I think is purely cosmetic, but I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with something. I don't know. Uh, it's got this cool little catwalk kind of thing. I thought there was a helipad. Oh, there is. It's back here. No, it's not. Where's the helipad? Okay, well, there was a helipad. Um, where'd it go? Okay, either the helipad is in this area, or it's... I think it may be over there. This is what the map looks like on the thing. And if we run down to this bridge, this bridge got a little bit of a rework. It looks a little different. It just... Overall, the feel of the the thing of the entire map just kind of we worked a little bit and there's this new bunker right here which gives you basically the view from this machine gun and you can see like this entire area you can shoot these guys the I don't remember this being there but oh so it's a little machine gun tower and then there is this bunker, which I think they just improved, because I think it was already there. But now it's got two bunkers instead of one. And... I'm thinking that that's about it, as far as the map is concerned. Um, I think there is still a town. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so this is this is new. There's like the little rafts, like the um, map rafts. We've kind of integrated that a little bit. So that's pretty much this map. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, the model texture change, I guess you could say, for... The plane. I think it was called the Wyvern or the Buzzard. That's pretty much... That's pretty much it. I'm going to go into vehicle testing by myself. And show you guys all that the helicopter has to offer. Because in a combat situation, it's not very good. So I'm just going to instantly win the battle. The, um, so this is the plane model looks very cool. I'll go ahead and... Oh, they also redid the bomber model. I forgot. It pretty much, it's just a model rework. It looks a little cooler, I think. But, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, there's not really much change. There's still the... Oh. Okay, so there's a little bit of a loading bay door kind of thing. It kind of... Oh, it locks on to where you were looking. So you can now watch the bomb explode. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't remember seeing that last time. And it's got the machine gun. The classic machine gun. 
We're going to go ahead and crash. The new plane, of course. It. Wait, hold on. Okay, so it is called the Buzzard. Okay. This is what it looks like from the outside now. Um, it's got some new, like, cosmetic features, pretty much, but. And then the missiles and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back around. It kind of feels like they redid the the hood a little bit, but that might just be me. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it around and probably crash into this bomber. The transport helicopter, I don't think they did anything new to it. I they of course kind of did redid the texture, but I think that was an old I think that's a little bit older. Of course, it's got the awesome miniguns. And then last but not least, the awesome new helicopter. So, I'm pretty close to the ground right now, as you can see, and I am moving, like, it's more maneuverable, really. Like, I can, I can do pretty tight turns. And then there's the laser-guided missiles, which if you, you can do like this, like I said, It's just a little bit tricky. Or you can get really close, like get down like this, click auto hover, which instantly like levels you out. So you can be going down pretty far. Click E and then turn yourself up. Turn around like this a little bit. And you can pummel stuff with rockets. And you get more rockets now, which I think is awesome. So that's pretty much all there is in this new Ravenfield update. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope this this video just helped you out trying to get the upper hand over your AI adversaries. <laughs> so again, I hope you enjoyed. That is going to be all. I hope you have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. Oh, uh, wait, we go back into this one. Kinetic out.